The Toronto Raptors came into this game against the Chicago Bulls having lost just two nights prior to a John Wallace Washington Wizards squad in an effort so lethargic that a bed of sloths would have been impressed. Coming off of a long Western Conference road trip, the Raps just looked flat out jet lagged and lead legged. Still, that sort of effort is inexcusable at home, and so with the Bulls who currently command the second worst record in the Eastern Conference coming to visit, one would think that the Raps would look to rebound emphatically. The game started out ugly, however, something that fans have gotten used to seeing so far this young season. Toronto shot just 2 to 6 from the field to begin the game, and were sluggish contesting shots, especially those coming from deep. Sergi Baca and Jonas Valanciunas continued to prove that they are a poor pairing, with Ibaka continually switching on pick and pops and leaving Valanciunas, who recovers slower than a one legged dog in quicksand, out to dry as guys like Lowry Markinen and Denzel Valentine stepped out to take wide open looks. But it wasn't all bad, Kyle Lowry had the ball in his hands more than he has recently, and looked good with it. He was aggressive early sniffing out driving lanes and making intelligent passes to whichever of his bigs were on the floor at the time. The defensive effort improved when Pascal Siakam checked in, bringing his usual burst of energy, and CJ Miles drained a pair of back-to-back -back triples after going scoreless from beyond the arc in the Washington game. 